Hello guys, I'm the Ant Warrior and this is update 3 of my Mesa Barbarous Colony. I'm also going to be trying to make this video into a bit of a tutorial about how to make a tubs and tube setup. I hope you enjoy. All you're going to need to start off with is a container. I've chosen a Chinese takeaway container. I melted a hole in the top of the container and filled it with cotton to allow for ventilation. You're also going to want some sort of substrate. I've chosen some red sand from Antboy UK. I'll leave a link to his shop in the description box below. I didn't actually end up using these stones as I didn't really like how the finished product looked with them. Next, you're going to want to add your substrate. I only added a thin layer of substrate at first. I then used a brush that I got from the Ant Lady, whose shop will also be linked in the description, to smooth out the sand. I repeated this process until all of the substrate had been used. As you may now have noticed, the colony has reached two workers. Now that the first workers have a closed, this is a crucial time in the colony's development. They're going to want to start foraging, and that's why I'm creating them their own tubs and tubes setup. It's now finally time to allow the ants to roam their new hunting grounds. If you want, you can semi-bury the test tube. This stops it from rolling around. If you didn't already know, Massabarbarus are granivorous, which means they eat seeds. Their diets can consist of 70 to 80% seeds, and some species of Massa can even live solely off seeds. I also added a few drops of the Ant Lady's cotton candy sugars. Here is the finished setup. After about one week of moving this colony into this test tube, they gained a third worker. I have also started to see foraging behaviour and ant bread being produced. At the moment, this colony has a nice brood pile. They have a nice new fresh batch of eggs, two larvae and one media pupae. This channel has grown unbelievably fast and we're only 28 subscribers away from 100. Now that we're getting so close to this amazing milestone, I want to ask about your opinions of this channel. How do you guys think I can improve these videos and make them more appealing to you and the ant keeping community? Also, if you have any suggestions about what we should do to celebrate our 100th subscriber, then make sure to leave that down in the comments. I truly hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!